back at it again guys with another video and today I'd like to talk about griefing in Red Dead because I think this is my personal opinion about it right because I think it's just a waste of your time let me get to it Don't mind the uh, little commentary I'm doing over Call to Arms on Red Dead Online. It's just, you know, it's just a new thing that I'm testing out. All right, so basically, I wanted to, I wanted to talk about my opinion about griefing in Red Dead Online because I feel like it's just got too out of hand recently. From, because it's from the fact that I've been meeting uh, exploiters in the game who've been jailbreaking their PS4 just to, you know, use God mode and that. And I feel like it should be worth mentioning, even though Rockstar won't do anything about it. I feel like it just needs a bit more mentioning and it's just an, it's just unfair on how low levels are getting griefed you know and when you're trying to do missions you're getting griefed and that personally I'm a high level but levels in the game don't matter it just matters about what your ability cards are in the end of the day and how good you are at the game to be actually good but if you're one of those people who's using uh, explosive rounds in the game, I've, I've got to say, I've got, I've got one word to say to you, and that's just cowardice. If you're using, if you're using explosive rounds of any kind, griefing someone, or you're griefing them back with explosive rounds, that's just showing to them you're just getting angry at them, and they want you to, they want you to do that. They want you to get angry at them because they want the reaction. And if you don't give them reaction you want, and if you remain calm and you remain chill when you talk to them, they'll be scared shitless. And I can kid you not, they will be scared. They'll be scared of you. Yes, yeah, that has happened. Because one time I was, I was getting griefed by uh, two two uh, two Indian guys. Not going to be racist there about the Indians. Of course, I love every single race because everyone's human. But I was uh, getting griefed by two Indians, and what they they were so childish toward me. They were just cussing at me and mocking me as well, like I like I'm some uh, like like some five year old would. And it, it, it's just idiotic in my opinion. It really is. You have better things to do in your life, right, than just to spend six hours or what, how many hours in Red Dead Online just griefing. What fun do griefers get out of griefing other players? The rabbit hole for griefing gets deeper and deeper, right? It's, it just sickens me on how, how, how they don't understand how much it matters that you don't grief people because if you was to grief someone the rabbit hole will get deeper because let's say a a guy or a girl is just using uh, this game red dot line as an escape from you know their personal issues in the in real life they want because it's their way of releasing that stress but when they're getting griefed you're making them more angry and you're making them more sad and that will just draw them to do things that they don't want to do such as suicide and I hate to bring that topic up here but it's how deeper the, the rabbit hole gets here guys and I hope you can understand my reasoning on why griefing in online is just terrible and I, I just think using E rounds especially like explosive rounds in the game if you want to fight someone if you want to grief someone go ahead but don't use explosive rounds man actually show them you want to fight instead of using explosive rounds don't be a coward using dynamite arrows because that doesn't show you're good at the game, it just shows you're a low life hiding in mum's basement all day. Right, just go outside and touch some grass, that's all I gotta say mate, to those griefers out there. If you wanna use explosive rounds, go right ahead. And throughout, throughout my experience with uh, Red Dead Online, I've met many griefers and there was a time where, uh, you know, there was exploiters going around such as, you know, pot the posse outfits uh, glitch, if you guys remember that. If you was to use the card never without one. Uh, you'd practically be invincible if you had a posse outfit on, because your hat wouldn't be able wouldn't be able to shoot off. Uh, there's, there's still more exploits in the game that, that people can use, but mostly uh, the exploits they can use it. You have to jailbreak your PS4 to do that, and that's against uh, PlayStation's terms of service with PS4. It's like uh, like PSN guy, whatever his name was, Sir Biggles in my last video. If you guys saw his uh, mate and him were using. Uh, God mode, and I'll tell you why. They want to get a reaction out of you, and if you don't give them that, they'll soon give up. And I didn't show this at the end of the video, but Sir Biggles, he left the session because he grew bored, right? He grew bored, and that's understandable, you see, because if you don't give griefers what they want, right, and if you just allow them to kill you at, uh, like, I don't know, a certain point, if you're getting bored, they'll just soon leave you alone because they, they will realize it's just a waste of their ammunition and time and money. 
I, w I just want to know, if you guys are griefers at all, I want you to comment why you do it. What what makes you motivated to grief? I want to know. Because it's just, honest, it's just honestly sickening, in my opinion, that you feel like you have the right to go around using whatever, like explosive rounds or exploits or any of that bullcrap, just to go around and kill players. I find it really pathetic if you do use, if you do grief players at all, especially low ranks. Because low ranks, depending on who they are, they might not even know anything about the game, and you're just ruining the experience for them. It just makes it horrible. It really does. Right? You're not GTA players, you're not Fortnite players, this is Red Dead. Even though it's an outlaw game, you're supposed to do that in griefing, right? It's meant, griefing is kind of meant to be in Red Dead Online. But if you're gonna grief, grief properly, instead of using explosive rounds or god mode exploits, because that doesn't show you're good at the game at all. It just shows that you're just poor at the game, you're not good. That's my honest opinion right there. I've met many griefers back in my time. Uh, I sound like really old for saying that, but I've been playing Red Dead Online for three years now, ever since the beta days, mate. I know the Varmint Rifle was good, was even good back then, it was good. And there was a, there was a lot of griefers back then in the beta days of Red Dead. But this, uh, this with me talking, I know it might be getting boring now. But, you know, I just want to express my feelings about griefing and how you shouldn't do it. Because it, it, why do you want to do it? Why do you want to ruin the experience of other players, what have they done to you? You can just take your anger out of the NPCs in the game, but yet those those griefing players decide, oh I'm just going to be stupid and take it out, take my anger out on other players, even though they might be going the same shit as me, I don't care. Don't kill online players, right, come on, you're better than that. Go and, if you want to kill online players, go into PvP, right, go into PvP, because that's because you're asking to be challenged, right. Don't go in the free roam and just kill random players for god knows what reason. Right, kill NPCs, they're AI, they don't have feelings, right, they can't, they, they can't have any feelings, they're AI. Right, you can kill them however what, way you want, I'm not going to stop you from doing that. But, if I was to see you in my session, griefing someone, I don't, I don't care who started it, whoever kills who first, I will kill you. Not in real life, of course. Let's get to the real shit now, let's get to the main, main of it, let's get to the main stuff, the deep stuff, right. You see, if you were to grief someone right in Red Dead Online or any sort of online game, such as GTA, any any other any other online game like such as that, you could be exposed to hackers, right? Because you have no idea who anyone is online. Everyone has a second face online. Even me, I do as well. I have a second face online, mate. And I'm being honest there. So. Everyone has a second face online, and if you was to grief a person, he was getting pissed off at you, right? And he was to say, oh, I'm going to find your address, I'm going to get your IP address. You might want to take that a little bit seriously, my friend. Because you have no idea who that guy is or girl is. They could literally be getting your IP address right now, and you wouldn't even know about it if you was to grief someone. You, it's dangerous to grief people in Red Dead Online. It's just dangerous to do it, and you shouldn't. Right, because even though you, you, you feel like you're safe behind your mum's mom's and dad's TV screen, you're not. Your mum and dad won't protect you from those people, mate. That's the truth. They, they aren't. They will, they, will, they will protect you at a, at, a, at, a, at a certain point, but what if they die? What if your parents get kidnapped and hold for ransom because of you griefing that player in online? Like I've said before, the rabbit hole gets deeper than you think. And I'm making this video to get the spread the word about griefing and how terrible it is and how just pathetic it is. You're wasting your time. You have so much to do in your lives, right? You have so much to do. You can go. You can go and make money, right? You can, you could play with your friends, have some fun, have some laughs. But yet you are so sad and you go and grief people. Not so, not not saying you viewer because I don't even know if you're a griefer or not. But I'm just, I'm just saying this is really as an example here. But like I said, griefing is just terrible. I don't understand why they do it, why players do it. I don't understand why, and I'm trying to figure that out. Which is why I want you guys to leave in the comments below why you do it. Just why I don't care if you dislike this video. I don't care if you it's on sub to me because it's the truth, right? It's the truth. What I'm saying to you is the truth. And if you're a griefer, I suggest you stop. And you, 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 you may put some toxic, co uh, toxic comments or bad comments in my video. Mate, go right ahead. I don't care if you, if you want to put hate comments in my, in, 
in this video, go right ahead. I don't, I really don't care. I'm just making this video to make sure griefing is more, uh, more aware of. And I would like everyone, everyone, to report the user Sir Biggles and stay away from him as much as you can. If you see him in Red Dead Online, don't bother shooting him. He's got God Mode on. Same as his posse member. I didn't post his uh, posse member, posse member's PSN name, because that was just by accident. It was just uh, editing, a little bit of an editing thing right there, because me and me, my editing guy, Damien, you should go check out his, his uh, channel, Sly Falco. You should go check out his channel. But we both were tired on that day. It was like a what Thursday night. He's with me right now, and he's listening. He's listening to this, and he's just. I know how he feels about this. He doesn't play Red Dead, but I do. Of course I do, because why would I be making this video? <laughs> like I said, and like I keep saying, I want to get this hammered into your skull. Griefing is a waste of time. Don't waste your time. You have better things to do in your life. But you just wait until those those uh people you grieve to find your address find where you live right and dox you and spread it around now i know i may be sound like i'm paranoid but this is this is the rabbit hole all of you i want all of you to listen to me because this is serious please stop griefing why would you do it in the first place i'm not gonna discriminate you for being a griefer right and if you want to challenge me i'll leave my psn account down below you can challenge me to a battle if you want if you're a griefer i'll leave my psn account down below so you can challenge me because I don't mind having a good fight. I really don't. I'm not boasting about it, but I'm one of the good players here who are good at PvP. And if you if you're getting griefed by someone, and if you want vengeance, leave their uh, PSN accounts down below if you remember it, and I'll and I'll get vengeance for you. And I'll message them, and then I'll I'll battle them for you guys. Because I feel like griefers should actually be banned from Red Dead Online. Even though it's an outlaw game, you gotta grief. It's kind of the thing. It makes sense to grief in Red Dead is what I'm trying to say. This is 2022. This is not 2015, right? 2022 has evolved into a, into a period on where you have people who take jokes very seriously. On where you have people who uh, are Karens, you know? So, I hope this video has caught the attention of many Red Dead players. I hope it has. And I hope that I get this message out very clearly to all of you. Griefer or not. And if you are a griefer, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Not in real life, because I'm not going to threaten you like that. Why would I do that? If you want to grief, you can grief me. I challenge you. I'll, I'll leave my uh, little PSN down below. You can grief me or you please, mate. Hell, bring in an eight-person bossy. Mate, I don't care. I challenge you. All you griefers to try and grief me. I challenge it. And because you know why. You're not, and I bet you now, I bet you five quid that you're not going to get a reaction of me being pissed or me being annoyed at you because that's not happening mate you want to grief stop griefing those players and grief me let's see how let's see how that turns out yeah anyway guys i'm gonna leave it there i'll see you in the next video i'm quite done talking here i'll see you later